Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new War Dragons video. So, I want to start this video off by saying thank you guys so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot. We just hit 400 subscribers and we're still gaining. I think I'm at 410 now, um, which is actually insane. So thank you guys. really do appreciate it. Um, this community should be growing pretty quickly in the next couple of days. Um, you'll see why, but if you want to be in a group chat, let me know now. Um, send me an in-game mail is probably the easiest way, or leave a comment down below. Um, remember to like the video if you do find it useful, because everything I do, I base on feedback, comments, um, in the group chat, and then also likes. Because likes do, it doesn't mean anything, like, in terms of how well the video does, but it shows me if you guys are liking that content, or if you guys aren't. So if I don't see, if I see a video that doesn't get a ton of likes, or, like, any feedback, I'm not going to do a video like that again. So that's just kind of how this, like, channel works. But either way, I'm going to be going over breeding guides. This is a video that a lot of people have been asking me, a lot of people have been, you know, saying, why don't you just do a video on this and talk about how breeding guides work, what different breeding guides are out there, and what your best, like, what your suggested breeding guide would be. So, I want to start out. There used to be more breeding guides, but a couple have been taken down, including Reds, which, personally, I think were the best. Um, possibly, she took it down in January of this year. Um, I wish I could have gotten some screenshots of them, but it was really, really good. Um, but then you have Amoebas. Now, Amoebas, um, I'll put the links down below to these breeding guides, but Amoeba is what I personally use. Now, well, sorry, I should say I used to use. So you might notice you have one major breeding guide, and this right here is about the same for every single breeding guide there is. Um, and this really doesn't change, because there's not much variety in terms of Dragon's parents and, and like, all these dragons, you need to breed another dragon. It's not necessarily like the Garnet and Sapphire tier that you get a dragon, you get the dragons that you want to get. It's not necessarily what, like, you try to get every dragon, because you just can't. Unless you spend a ton of money, you're not going to get every single Garnet and every single Sapphire. So it really starts depending on what type of dragon you're good with flying. So, Amoebas, really quickly, is the one I used to use. Um, now, you'll notice there's two options. Whale and Consurgence or Chrysos and Consurgence. These are dependent, and this is the gold tier, um, and this is where it starts to get, if you're good at flying a certain type of dragon, you need to figure out if you're good at hunters or warriors. If you're, gonna, if you're good at warriors, take option two. Because um, basically, this means you're going to get whale and consurgence instead of getting crisis and consurgence. So if you want crisis and not whales, then def or well, actually whale garner, um, then go for the option two. And they're basically, they get you the same... Um, dragons, but they get you them at a certain rate. So, for example, right here, if you see Will Garner and Consurgence, you don't get Chrysos until like after a ton of different dragons. But right here, you'll notice that it's Chrysos and Consurgence pretty much at the front, and then you get Will Garner after. So basically, you're deciding whether you want to have a really good warrior or a really good hunter. Again, completely depends on your playing style. Then Sapphire. These this does not change. The parents are set in stone. So, these, the Garnet and Sapphire tier, it all depends on what you're good at flying. So, if you're going to go for a warrior slash hunter, uh, sorry, if you're going for hunters, then go for Hasset. Now, the one thing I will say is that the best Sapphire Mythic currently is Apathet. Um, and that's what I've been told by a lot of people, so I'm gonna, I'm assuming that's correct. Um, I'm personally going for Apathet, and to get Apathet, it takes an Appa and Shechem. So, if you want to get those two, basically, it takes 250,000 to get, um, Ana sorry, Anapa and Shechem, and then to breed Apathet, it takes 200,000. So, it takes a ton. Um, if you're wondering why he costs a little bit more, I believe it is because of backbreeding, um, with this certain, and you'll notice that it changes a little bit with the other, um, what I'm going to show you, because there's actually five other breeding guides, um, that are a little bit different. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. But for Garnet, it's the same thing. Get the type of dragon that you want to see. If you want a key, uh, Quilas, um, you know, you're going to have to get Frostbite or Enzaru. If you want, you know, Avalanche, Renard, Jewel, any of those, you're going to have to get the dragon that corresponds with the Mythic. And he hasn't, apparently has not updated this to include, um, what is it called? Is it like, Icicle? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so, oops, wrong one. So, now, this one is Superman's. So, these are actually, these don't really, um, I know a lot of people use these instead. Um, and, 
So I just want to go over really quickly. Now, these are a little bit different. And when I say that, I mean, if you check, so they go through the entire way until you get to Sapphire. These, these do not go in Sapphire. And you notice that it has the total amount of egg tokens that you have to spend, which is 504,710 to get every single dragon, basically, except for a couple. So this means, so this especially one, it's a Chrono slash Chrysos, which means that you do not get Whale Garner or Consurgence quickly with this. So this is an issue. If you are, if you're a Hunter's person, you're not going to be using this one. You're just not. Because this doesn't cost as many tokens as some of the other ones, but you're not getting a good warrior. Uh, sorry, you're not getting the two good Hunters that you really are probably going to want. Then, of course, you have another one. Now, this one is actually for Whale and Consurgents. Now, this is basically like um, Amoebas. Now, this is 596k tokens. It's a lot more, um, and you'll notice that. So, to get these guys, you actually can skip some steps. Um, you don't have to get next or Sacronus for 5,000. Um, and there's just some steps that you can cancel, um, but most of these you're going to have to do. So, costs about 580,000 tokens. So just consider that, but you are getting two very, very good hunters um, through this, and this is the best way to get Rhizar. Now, there's three others. Now, these are really um, kind of interesting because these like completely depend on what type of dragon you really want to get. Um, now, this is... Oops, sorry. My bad. Let's see here. So this is, oh wait, oh, I'm sorry guys, not professional, but basically, like I said, most of these are really going to depend on whether, what type of dragon you want to get first. Um, and yeah, so if you're going to go for hunters, then I would highly suggest using amoebas, um, because that's the one that's going to get you some of the best dragons quickly. Um, I don't know where in the world he put these, hold on, really quickly guys, I do apologize about this. Um... Okay, I think he actually took down two of them. No, 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 he got... Okay, here we go. So this is Consurgence and Cycrona. So it's a little bit less breeding tokens. So basically, this one, you're getting Cycronos and uh, Consurgence. You guys might notice right here with your Snoo and Mix for 100,000. So basically, all these pass, the only difference is that 400,000, you get two different legendaries. So there's one where you get Consurgence and Cronos, one with Crisis and Cronos, one with Consurgence and uh, Cronos, one with CTH and Consurgence. So basically, you still have to pay 100,000 for two legendaries, but it, it's swapping which legendary you're getting with it. So this one, you spend a little bit less egg tokens than the other ones. Sorry, well, than the other one. And then, of course, you have Sacronos and Chrysos. Now, let me find the other one. Um, here we go. Whale and CTH. So, this is 567k tokens to get all of them. But, again, you're getting a sorcerer that, in my opinion, is the worst out of, like, all the golds. And then you have Whale, which is the best hunter out of the golds. So, you're kind of sacrificing, you know, you're not paying as many tokens. But, again, you're getting some pretty good hunters so the least expensive one is going to probably be the worst one um and i don't know if they did that completely on purpose but Sacronos and crisis for 504k tokens so basically what this means is that you won't get the two gold hunters as quickly so you're sacrificing the speed of which you get two really good dragons or tokens so it really just depends totally on what you guys want to do with that. Honestly, for me personally, I would go with Amoebas, just in my opinion. Amoebas, I think, kind of has the best like set um, in terms of what you can get for breeding tokens. I think because you get um, Rhizar fairly quickly, a lot quicker than some of the other ones. Um, and I think that's pretty important because Rhizar is going to be one of the best dragons to get. Once you get the Platinum tier. He's definitely the best by far. So if you're following Amoebas, I think you're doing a pretty good job. Um, sorry that I'm switching like between uh, Portrait and Landscape. Um, but yeah, for Sapphire and Mythic... Um, sorry, so for Sapphire and Garnet, it completely depends on what type of dragon you want. If you want Hunters, go for Hunters. Um, but like I said, for me personally, from what I've heard, 
Hossett is not as good as Apathet, and Manhattan is definitely not as good as Apathet or Hossett. So for me personally, um, if you're nearing the Sapphire range, get Shechem and Anapa first, because Shechem is definitely the best hunter um, out of Gorgonos and uh, the Shechem. Shechem is the top. Anapa is better than Scorchal, at least I've heard that, um, and I want to say that's correct. So you're getting two really good dragons, not to mention you're getting Apathet. Just because he's a sorcerer, and I know I've said this so many times, sorcerers are not as good as hunters. This case, apparently it seems like that is incorrect. So, again, I hope this video helped you guys out um, decide on what you know type of breeding guide you want to go for. Um, like I said, Amoebas, I think, is overall the best well-rounded one. Where you get everything you want, and probably the best dragons in each tier quick, as quick as possible. And that's really what this game's about. Getting the best dragons as quick as possible. So if you can get, you know, the top dragons, like, ASAP, go for that type of breeding guide. Either way, guys, I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like if you guys, um, you know, enjoyed this video. If you guys found it, you know, actually beneficial to you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or, like, comments on why I did something, or if you guys have any disagreements, I'm happy to, um, talk to you about that. Message me online, um, sorry, in-game or online, the app. Um, uh, my ID is Matt Attack Fire, um, and that way you can contact me if you want, um, or just message me in the comments or get in-game in or in the group chats. I will answer to any of those. Either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.